Back a bit to the leg, the body, or the head. All right, he shouldn't really be able to tell. One, nice, Danny. Good. And now go right versus right. That's it. Catches my leg here. And I look, do it wrong, do it wrong. Look, you guys see that right hand there? And you can spam that right hand. In other words, you can go once, twice, three times. Inside position. So you go, you go. So there and there, good. Now push with the forearms. Almost in his chin, and now throw. Yes, perfect step. Without it. Good. Nice, good. Oh, cheers, Well done to run, so why to run? Good job, guys, nice. Come up, boom. And now look, boom, there's that. Or I throw a one, two, he tucks up, boom. So just tuck up, render just to make the point. Exactly, and now look, look, just as a boxer might go, look, one, two, and then look downstairs. We can go one, two, three. Make sense? Or one, move out, two, there's one. Okay, many ways to do it. Just get the idea of using the hands to set up the knees, okay? All right, go, keep going. I remember I talked earlier about the right hand that chops down. That's the same thing about the elbow. You see the elbow that sort of diagonally cuts down? That one usually you're in the clinch, you make some space and you bring him down onto it, okay? Or you've angled out and there's the elbow, okay? So there's variations. You've also got the hammer elbow, which is that, but that's another thing, okay? So just the basic two elbows, hand to hand, elbow, elbow, okay? And it's a short action here, all right? The action, if I'm on the shoulder, just to simulate the head, you don't need to do this and wind up. It's classic error. People wind up and throw their body weight behind it. No, okay? Just the action of turning the shoulder over. You go, see, that's enough. So I won't move my body. Look, don't move my body. You go, see? So that's his head, and I'm putting him onto the head. You see how bad that will be, okay? Especially on the bridge of the nose. Break the nose. Cut around the eye area, okay? So, so Or just straight up, like that, okay? So if you look at uh, Superlet had a knockout recently in one, where he just came in, like that, it was, and the guy was out, okay? So you don't, the point I'm trying to make is you don't need a big wind up. Don't feel like you need to like wind up and throw your weight behind it. Just the action of slipping in can do it. Okay? All right, guys, set elbows. What's that, Pascal? <laughs> with the hands, okay? So if I'm here, when I teep, this arm, the lead arm, is gonna pull down, okay? That activates look, the hip. So the critical relationship between the arms and the legs is the activation of the hip. You guys see? So everything involves look, the hip, okay? If I go with the rear, it's the same, boom, okay? Now, for the rear kick, instead of going that way, I go look across, you see the action of the hip? So that's the hip forwards, hip across, okay? There, all right, or here. All right, so you could be here, touch here, there's a switch kick, okay? Or you're here, and there's a rear kick. And obviously that could be to the leg, the body, or the head, all right? You shouldn't really be able to tell. Uh, there's different ways to set up this, to talk generally, okay? So uh, I'm trying to avoid this, we're just flicking the leg like that, okay? But you can get good power off the lead leg. You guys see, just here, or up to liver. There, all right, so there's like, like a whip, so the power's right on the end. So you're here on the guy, you guys see? Or here, there's a little shuffle step. There, okay, so you're touching here, touch here, switch, bang, left, or right. And if you miss, you just kind of go through. All right, okay, good job, go. Use the arm. You go. You going through with these guys? Let's go. Come on, guys. Switch up. Let's go. So keep. Nice. Boom. Very good. Right. Right versus right now. Good. Good. Harry. Nice switch. Yeah. Excellent, James. Nice. Good. That'll be to the rear or switch kick to the front. Nice. Let's 
to go with your favourite training partner, your favourite training. <laughs> so we want, yeah, guys, we want uh, miss match leads for this. So left versus left. So T. Now second one. Nice, Danny. Good. And now go right versus right. That's it. Nice. There you go. Harry. Good. Nice, Adrian. Yeah, good. Nice. The steps, but when you sort of do it in real time, it's kind of three things all at once. So I'm parrying, evading, loading, and firing, kind of all in, in one action. Does that make sense? There. Okay. So you go right versus left now. There. Okay. Also notice that if you overcommit, you see, how's not going to do it because he's well trained, but let's say if he overcommits, you see how now he's super out of position. That's why I said to you guys, when you teep, you mustn't overcommit your weight because you will miss. And when you do miss, look, you're basically, you're dead in the water, so to speak. You're in no man's land and it's going to take you time to get out back in position. Or even worse, boom, left there. Make sense? So as he goes here, you know, see, obviously you control it. I didn't control it so much. Okay, all right, go. Good, good job. Outside. So, right versus left, you right before it. Nice. And now, as you tee bearing, yeah, perfect. And now, bang, that's it. So, the point I was making about as you're going, you're already ready to fire. So, I'm going one, two, one. You see that that uh, bullet is already in the chamber, it's the fire. Okay. How do you, when you kick So, when you kick Oh, other leg, please. Other leg. Okay. So, as I go here, there. So it's like that's the position I want there. Yeah. Here, and now that kick is ready to fire. You kick here. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's good to do. I mean, I can, I can explain verbally, but someone's better just to watch and see what I'm doing visually and try to pick up on it. Great. Good. Nice, guys. Okay, time. Great, good job. So just moving swiftly on the right, I've got a bunch on the cover today. So now, uh, so we've done parry and pass. You can call them both parries, it's just to distinguish them, all right? So parry would be this, pass would be this, okay? But it's essentially the same thing, you're parrying the guy's leg, all right? Now, the next action we're gonna do is a catch, okay? So as he goes here, okay, we're gonna tuck the corner. I'll explain it more in a minute, just show you the action. I just step away and catch, all right? Now. Uh, as a general rule, you always want to target the open side. The open side in this case is here, so that'll be his left kick is the open side. Bomb, okay. Uh, not close, but the corner, so to speak. You see my corner? Your lead side is your corner. That's your corner, because it, look, it forms a corner. So when he kicks here, he's either going to kick the elbow, uh, hip bone, or lat. If I, if I naively turn towards him and reach like that, then yes, he's going to get me straight in the abdomen but I'm not gonna do that, does that make sense? Equally, as he kicks, I'm not gonna turn away and get kicked in the spine. So I don't wanna get, I don't wanna expose my face, so to speak, the front of me. That's a bad idea. And equally, I don't wanna look, turn away, and get kicked in the spine, that's no good either, okay? So my best bet is to take it on the corner. You guys see the corner there? So as he kicks, you guys see I slightly angle away, all right? And then the last thing is that people tend to overfixate on the catch and what happens? This hand comes down, okay? And a common thing you see sometimes is people catch and they do that and then this hand is still in play, okay? So if Hanif catches my leg here, and I look, do it wrong, do it wrong. Look, you guys see that right hand there? And you can spam that right hand. In other words, you can go once, twice, three times. So sometimes people take one and be like, oh, it's nothing. Second, third, and then, oh shit, their legs start to buckle. You guys get what I'm talking about? So as he catches, and I pull it, don't do it wrong. If he doesn't do what he should do, bang, bang, bang. Do you guys see? Okay, so if of kicks here, I'm away, and this is my cross guard up. Or I lean back. Okay, now it's gonna be hard to hit me. Does that make sense? 
I just want you get guys to get the idea of having a long arm and then moving with the body. Do you guys see? There's an elbow, there's an elbow, there's a knee. So from here on the guy, look, there's a teep. Go through, see the turn, okay? Easy to throw, so easy to throw the guy off that position as well. Is that clear, guys? All right? So don't knee, don't elbow, don't throw. Just do the action of, look, long left, step up and turn. Use your forearm, okay? Long left, step up and turn, okay? Look, sorry, long right, <laughs> step up and turn. Long right, step up and turn. Okay, all right, go, just do that. Be careful with this, guys, all right? Safety first. Sit. It. it is fine, just go long. Go on. And now step off and turn. Yes, exactly. That's it. And now go with the same one on the other side of his head. And now step to the right and turn to the left. That's it. But your footwork is going to be that. So you're going to go. You're gonna end up in that stance, see? Yeah. You don't wanna end up that way. All right, so see it again. Right hand, uh, on the other side, you did that other side. Right hand on that side, that's it. Now step with the right, and bring your left leg behind you. Uh, left leg behind you, so it's sort of, there you go, so you end up there, okay? Yeah, that's it. Don't worry if you don't 100% get this, Jack, it's a little more advanced. But look, my left foot's forward. See, my left leg ends up behind me. Okay, so here on the guy. Yep, here and here, right. And now, push with the forearms. Good, pull with the fingers. Pull, pull, good, push, good. Now, take him to, yeah, you know you go? Good, exactly. Now, turn, yes, and turn the other way. Good, nice, now you go. Pull. I, I, good, I'm still keep it at drill, so obviously don't let it degenerate into a fight, but that's it, exactly, Paul, very nice, and the other one, exactly, Paul, very good. Uh, good, Danny, inside position, which means, yeah. and now you, relax. Inside position, so you go, you go, so there and there, good. Now push with the forearms, yep, or that'll be, take the side, now push that way, now pull him. And I'll uh, wheel him. Yes. And I'll wheel him the other way. You see the equivalent of what we just did with that? So if we're here, push, pull, take left, take right, turn one way. And see, you don't realize it, but you're just doing it. That's it. See? So I'm just getting it, and then I can switch side to side. One way, the other way, that way, that way, that way, and that way. You see, I'm kind of pinballing you. Come on, sir. This too much. Okay. No worries. Good. Guys, guys, time to say it quickly, very quickly. Inside position, let's understand. He has his hands up and out, my arms are outside. I take them to the inside, now my hands are on the inside. So we want inside position with one and the other. This is typically an inside tie or bicep tie. This is typically a collar tie, collar and inside tie, okay? But don't grip too much, okay? If we go 50-50 where he has a collar tie, now we lock up too much. So I don't want that, I want this position. Now I can push, pull, take to the left, take to the right, turn and turn, okay? And I can do that with both hands, push, pull, Take to the left, take to the right, turn, turn. You guys see that? Got it? Okay, go, one more time. Guys, when I guys, when I interrupt, it's because I'm seeing more than one person say the same mistake. So rather than me go around individually and say the same thing over and over, I just say once the whole room, okay? What's the mistake? Let's be clear. It's a very common thing in wrestling where if we break down at the hips and we go like this, you'll feel, look, you'll feel, uh, you can move the guy better like this. It's absolutely true. Why is it wrong? Yeah, boom, yeah, it's not wrestling. Getting yeah, needs in the fucking head. As soon as, you, as soon as I do this, what's going to happen? Boom, exactly. So in Muay Thai, typically, you have to be what? Hips in, head up, on the balls of the feet, okay? It's not that there's no look, play with the hips, there is, but you can't look, break down like this. Yeah. this. Look, if you're doing a tug of war, so we're doing a tug of war, go on. 
Of course, you're going to do this. Does that make sense? I'm not saying anyone's doing that badly. I'm just giving you the extreme case to make the point. All right, look, one minute here. Look, I'm in with the hips. I turn. I turn. At no point did I do this, guys. You see? Okay, it's a big error. All right, okay, go. I've just seen a bunch of you do that. I'm trying to avoid that. <laughs> Good, nice hand. Uh, and I'll take him to the left. Alright, that side. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Square your stance up. Square your stance up. So here. Here. And another. Yeah. Oh, alright. So other. Oh, yeah. So it's like this, dude. Yeah. See it? So here. Wrap. <laughs> Lever. Yeah. Hips. Boom. Step step. Nice. But not forwards. Behind. Just round. Yeah. Two behind. 